What impact do ride hailing platforms have in developing countries? In order to answer this question, you have to see platforms as socio-technical transitions, changing a sector from one state or regime to a different one. Both before and after need to be understood. In a recent journal paper, we took the example of Easy Taxi in Bogota, the capital of Colombia in South America, and using interviews, participant observation, documentation, we analysed the before and after of four dimensions of the taxi sector, routines, resources, relations and institutions. And drawing from a more detailed tabulation, I'll illustrate each of those in turn. Transition of routines saw previously manual processes of booking and journey planning now digitised and inscribed into the Easy Taxi app. Criminal behaviour, particularly robbery of passengers by fake taxi drivers, has been significantly reduced. Transition of resources saw the value of phone numbers and radio frequency licences of existing taxi firms drain away in favour of the value of app brand names like Easy Taxi, and its main competitor, Uber. Data, which had once been lost in the ether, also became much more valuable. Transition of relations found a new relationship between platforms and passengers that had not existed before with the traditional taxi companies. Relations between platform and drivers, however, remained poor, just as it had been with the traditional taxi firms. And then transition of institutions reflected a significant weakening of the earlier oligopoly of taxi firms, but replaced by an oligopoly of platforms. And from this, we can see broader patterns of formalization and some power shift. So informality of ordering, negotiating, routing and driving of journeys has now been formalized through its digitization. Informality of Hiring, firing, managing, disciplining of drivers has also been formalised through formal procedures and or algorithmic management. Passengers have been empowered through datafication, reducing the previous informational absence and uncertainty which had fed fear and insecurity about travel in Bogota. Ride hailing platforms have been empowered at the expense of traditional taxi firms by eroding the value of outdated assets owned by those taxi firms and by capturing value from data and other assets which the platforms own. For drivers though, they've not really been empowered. In the words of that song by The Who, meet the new boss, same as the old boss. Drivers remain a replaceable resource for platforms, just as they were for traditional taxi firms. For all the platform talk of autonomy and flexibility, drivers remain more tightly managed than ever. And so one oligopoly has just been replaced by another, even stronger one. If you'd like to know more, then please take a look at our paper, Conceptualising Digital Platforms in Developing Countries, as socio-technical transitions, published in the European Journal of Development Studies.